Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Sinnott, audiologist and audio engineer with Tuned. In this video, we're going to listen to the noise programs of some over-the-counter hearing aids. Hearing and noise in restaurants, parties, tends to be the most common complaint that people have. And you might assume that hearing aids can help in this situation, but do they? They can help, but it really depends on your own hearing profile and the device. The number one best technology for helping to hear better in noisy environments is a remote microphone, also called a partner mic or a restaurant mic. But a lot of people are not comfortable using this technology, so it's not even an option for them, unfortunately. How do hearing aids help? They can amplify some high frequencies, and this can help us hear consonant parts of speech better, like s or sh. Also, high frequencies can help us decipher what direction a sound is coming from, which then allows our brain to be able to pinpoint more on the person talking uh, right in front of you. Some prescription hearing aids even have a feature called the pinna effect. This is your pinna. It's the visible part of your outer ear, which by the way, did you know, because I didn't until today, that the word pinna is Latin for fin or wing. When I found this out, my visual imagination went a little crazy and I took to the good old AI image generators and I tried to come up with an image of a human head with wings or fins, but what the AI image generators came up with wasn't all that impressive. Anyway, what our pinna does is it helps us to localize sound even further. Hearing aids may also have directional microphones. Those microphones will help us focus on the sound in front of us and reduce sounds coming from the back and the sides. Now that can help if, there's, if the person you're talking to, there's no one behind them, but let's say you're talking to somebody and right behind them, there are some loud talkers. Directional microphones may not help that much. The third thing that hearing aids can do to help us to hear better in noise is they may employ noise reduction algorithms. However, most of these noise reduction algorithms reduce what we call steady state sounds. That's fans, air conditioners, sometimes even the internal hissing noise of the circuit of the hearing device. There are some newer hearing aids that are coming out that have machine learning based noise reduction, and those are able to almost eliminate completely, let's say, the sound of a fork hitting a plate impact sounds. So the noise reduction technology is getting better and better. But right now, they don't help tremendously with crowds when the noise is actually the sound of other humans talking. Why am I telling you all of this? Well, the noise programs and hearing aids tend to employ a little bit of all of those features I just talked about. What you're going to listen to now are audio samples of four over-the-counter hearing aids and one direct-to-consumer hearing aid. You're going to listen to them without knowing which hearing aid they are, so you can listen a little bit more unbiased. A quick note on my methods. I recorded the samples with the VeriFit 2 and a four speaker setup with the target speech coming from the center speaker. Though admittedly not a perfect recording method, the only change between recordings were the actual devices. I set up the devices according to the same audiogram or hearing profile as best I could, and I verify them in the test box with NAL and L2 targets. If you're an audiologist, you'll know what all of this means. I did adjust the overall volume of some of the recordings to make it more comfortable for you to listen to. The first sample is audio without any hearing devices in the test box. I think I'm gonna get just a regular gin and tonic and for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and balsamic vinegar one. Yeah, that sounds good. The next five samples are from OTC or DTC hearing aids. Listen for clarity and also quality of the speech. Yeah, 
sound good. I think you're going to get just a regular gin and tonic and for a pizza. I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Yeah, that sounds good. These are the hearing aids in order of what you just heard. Did you hear differences? I heard some differences. Some had more low end, some focused more on the mid range or speech range, some sounded more distorted to me than others. We will all perceive different things. There really isn't a best or worst choice. I myself understand speech better when it's less processed, but that's me. And again, I have hidden hearing loss, but I don't have any threshold based hearing loss. Now you'll listen to each hearing aid in their everyday or normal programs, and then immediately afterwards, their noise or restaurant programs. Ergo 7, normal. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Speech enhancement. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Restaurant. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. Lexi Lumen, every day. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Noisy indoor. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Lexi B2, everywhere. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic and for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Front. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic and for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Autocus Icon. Every day. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic and for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Noise. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Autocus Spirit. Automatic. I think I'm going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Conversation and noise. I think you're going to get just a regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. Regular gin and tonic. And for a pizza, I'm looking at the peach, goat cheese, and the almond vinegar one. What did you think? There's a term in nerd speak called signal to noise ratio. Signal refers to the person talking and noise refers to the background sound. The goal of these noise programs in hearing aids is to improve the signal to noise ratio. A person with perfect hearing needs the signal or the talker to be about the same or two decibels higher than the noise around them in order to hear that person talk. However, somebody with hearing loss typically needs the signal to be eight decibels or more higher than the noise. My digital back of the napkin analyses of the recordings definitely showed signal to noise ratio improvements. However, there are trade-offs that don't necessarily show up in this type of analysis. For example, a lot of times the noise programs significantly degrade the fidelity of the audio. So the speech might be a lot louder than the background noise, but is it so degraded and distorted and low fidelity that it's not actually helping you? This is why your subjective analysis is most important. So back to the original question, can these devices help us hear better in restaurants and parties? Some of them do. The improvement is going to be subtle and you might not even perceive it. But over time and outing after outing, even subtle improvements can make a difference. Now I do have to say, of course, if it gets too loud, then you need to turn your hearing aids off or put some earplugs in. Closing thought is that even the best hearing aids and most expensive hearing aids out there will never be able to help you hear that super soft talker at a loud cocktail party. So that's when we want to start to learn speech reading. But 
that'll be for a different video. Thanks for watching.